um, reeds. Reeds. Okay. They're um they're just they're they're um wood they're wood uh reeds that actually so you put them in put them in and they they tra travel up and the smell comes off of them and then you just you flip them over. You can get. I'm pretty sure you can get. At least at our at our local in Fort Bragg at our local um um uh, natural food store, you can get them there. Um, otherwise, I mean, definitely online you can get them, but they're very inexpensive. And if you actually purchase the, the uh, like the fragrant oils and stuff, they're not they're not inexpensive. Like to purchase those, and um, yeah, so it's definitely a um, less expensive buy to do it that way to make your own okay okay I wanted to show you want to hold this for a second. I wanted to show from the uh, from the protectants this is a piece of what I'm saying fat this is actually a piece of the same leather it's a piece of suede and I wanted to show I should show it I don't want to get water all over I wanted to show what it looks like what a protected and how unnatural this is. Um, if anyone wants to play with it, how unnatural this is to have, so if you've heard of washable suede or the, 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 the pants that are, that are, have stain resistance, this is chlorinated. Does everyone see that? But okay, I'm to do it. I have to probably pass this around. <laughs> So I started to spill on it, but it, it just poured right off. I don't know. Do you want to check? Okay. Yeah. I hope you're going to see that. And it looks like mercury on Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And it's just, yeah, it's so unnatural. I would, um, and the last part of the talk is going to talk about the personal care and cosmetics. Um, and here in this slide, I've got one of my, I absolutely adore her, one of my youngest, uh, she's just 14, one of my youngest uh, customers, so I just adore, she's just adorable. And also showing that natural makeup can be very dramatic as well. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be uh, looking not yeah, it can be dramatic and beautiful, and I just like love that picture. And then I have the peacock in there, <laughs> but also because uh, the blue, uh, blues, the blues are um, really popular, and everyone wants to color. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on. If it, this is okay. So some alarming facts. So your average cost, this this so an average consumer, not just so women and men, this is the average. Is using between 15 and 25 personal care and cosmetic products per day. So it's repeated use. Even if it's in low amounts of toxic things, it's in repeated use. So, um, and then the products may contain more than 200 synthetic chem chemicals, chemical compounds, which have all been tested on animals. And uh, with, with repeated exposure, um, that's where the harm comes from because there's a lot of talk about okay, it's not such a bad, it's not, you know, this isn't so bad, it's in a small amount, it's not an amount to hurt someone, but you're using it constantly, and so that that's where that's where it, it really starts to build up and, and it talks about your system. So and interesting, the ingredient. Well, the ingredient listing is mandatory in cosmetics. But, um, oh, thank you. Thank you. It is mandatory, but it's not monitored. So, it's, once again, I go back to the small businesses. That are still like, we still like to have us there, you know, there that we're, we're not monitored. I mean, otherwise, it would cost us. We'd have to pay lots of people to put the stuff, you know, to do, to do that to, to report to the FDA. But if you go into Rite Aid, I went in there the other day and was just looking. And every product that did not have a box on it did not have any, any ingredients. And these are from major, major cosmetic companies. 
big ones. They're able to get away with not having anything on their label. And I asked, and I asked, and I said, because they can technically you can have a an ingredient list near if, if the product's like small enough, that kind of stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Um, all the lip glosses, everything. It was pretty shocking. So then 89% of the, um, which is very different from Europe, 89% of the 10,500 chemical ingredients used in personal care have never been tested for safety. It's very different. Europe is very different, actually. They, they have um, more bands. They have a lot stricter system. So one in three products contains um, a more than one, one or more um, uh, ingredients that are classified as a possible human carcinogen or reproductive toxin. Reproductive toxins are also really big in the uh, cosmetic world. I just wanted to go real quickly about how, how to read, because a color cosmetic ingredient list, so this is some stuff from, from our company, they're very confusing. As far as like you think they're always in the order of predominance, you might see the may contain, and most things have may contain. That's that's I'm sure you've seen it. And most people just lump the may contain and they put all their all the um, which is so all your all your um, colorants can are can be after may contain well they're not supposed to be. But that's what most people do, is they put their colorants and may contain, even though they could be in the in the product. And this, this actually is illegal, but they don't do anything about it. So what it is, so a branded shade line would be like a foundation of the same kind. So it goes in, it goes in order of predominance of things that aren't colors, down to things that are 1% or less in any order. And then after that comes your colorants, which mica, zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, and iron oxide are all considered colorants. So what, what you're looking at is it's really hard to tell how much of anything is in there. Very difficult, especially when you get just the 1%. They can mix it up any way they want to. And um, so then that's what the may contain. The may contain is really supposed to be only anything that's not contained in the, for like an eyeliner, we have an eyeliner line. So anything that's not contained in um, in every single product, that's the only colorant that should be under may contain. So we still have these colorants in there. They're both they're in all our all our eyeliners. But the only one that's not in all of our eyeliners is this one. But you'll see is that they, in most products they put, just may contain and put everything after it. So it's confusing. It's a very confusing way to go and I always say once again I'll go with the conclusion is call. Call and ask. This is the people have allergies to certain things and they may contain lists, that kind of stuff. So okay. So hidden ingredients and healthy makeup and I'm really talking about I have like a lot of the minerals here basically for mineral makeup people tend to think they're you know it's a healthy way to go. Which we have the mineral line. But these these words really mean nothing. Call company natural, organic, natural, pure, green. In fact, this one this one really drives me. Organic minerals. There is no such thing as that, and I see it all the time. <laughs> it really drives me crazy. Um, okay, so here's some common animal-based toxic ingredients um, with vegan alternatives, and this will be all available. But allotonin. This is what I see. This is in a lot of the mineral makeup. The allotonin is a nice soothing. It's great for your skin, but lots of times comes from uric acid, acid from cows, and you can get it from common um, Silk powder. Silkworms are boiled in their cocoons. Yeah, and I, I and that's in a lot of mineral makeup. It's in a lot of makeup. And they actually really promote silk. You know, it's oh, silks in it. I see it in so many things. So alternative, there's a cotton tree. Bismuth oxychloride is a byproduct of coal mining. It is a cheap byproduct that's in so much of the mineral makeup that makes it shiny. It it, it actually is like a ball bearing on the skin. And the thing is, what like boron nitride, which is an amazing, amazing chemical. It's just so expensive. The companies would rather go this way than this way. 